Psalm 20, Psalm 20, verse 7. Hallelujah. He says, He says, Psalm 20. Uh, he says, Some trust in chariots and some in horses. Eh? Meaning that there's a segment of the church eh, that gets lost somewhere. Eh? Eh? Don't be a part of that. Eh? You see that? Eh? Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But he says, but lakini. Eh? Sisi. Hmm? We shall trust. We shall trust in the name of the Lord, our God. Now, this name, that's why actually he ends by saying that, but we shall trust in the name of the Lord. This name can be of oblivious. You know, there are guys who carry certain names, eh? Yeah? But actually, they do not know that. <laughs> they carry that name, eh? <laughs> So they are oblivious in as far as where they're supposed to be is concerned. Eh? That actually when their time comes, more like you are in a, let's say in an interview. So they are interviewing one by one. Eh? And then they call on you. Eh? For example, James. <laughs> Am I the one? You see? Eh? Maybe they are calling another person. Eh? So in as far as that name is concerned, eh, that you carry, it's oblivious. You don't know. You see, eh? He says, some trust. Eh? <laughs> Let me throw some bombs to some people. Eh? <laughs> a chariot can be a car. Eh? Huh? Horses can be money. Eh? All these things. Eh? Eh? But not the name of the Lord. Eh? Hmm? You understand? Eh? <laughs> there, is a, there is a day a guy trusted in the name of the Lord. Eh? Say, ah, so, so I want to go to Langata. Langata. Oh, but I have to be there in time. Eh? The guy teleported. Eh? <laughs> there, was a, there was a moment of silence. They almost picked up stones. Eh? You see, that's your life. Eh? That's our life. Eh? You cannot be hindered. Eh? Eh? I don't know, but I see you, the brown lady. Eh? I see you in a, something treasury. Treasure. I don't know why I'm saying that eh? a lot. Eh? You is looking at me. Eh? I guess there is no other more brown person there. Eh? Eh? You know? You know? You know? You know, she brings the sunshine there. Eh? <laughs> eh? 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 Okay, so, uh, so, well, I don't know whether that's symbolic or something, eh? but we shall see as we go on. Eh? So, some trust, meaning that, that actually, there is actually a place where people, some, 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 not all, eh? some actually decide to stay on the Lord's side, eh? trusting in the name of the Lord. Eh? Some trust in chariots eh? and some in horses. Eh? Hmm? Meaning, people can actually trust in many, many things. Eh? Bank accounts. Eh? Let me tell you, that thing can mess you up. Eh? <laughs> if you haven't yet gotten eh? Eh? The, the strength over it, eh? 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 for you to be stronger than that thing, eh? It will mess you up eh? because all you know you'll actually be measuring yourself eh? in accordance to how your bank account is. Eh? Hmm? There is a place where <laughs> you need to capture certain things with strength. Eh? Hmm? Yeah. Remember when a man said, This is Psalm 23, when he said that uh, even though <laughs> Okay, even if. Hmm? How is that said in, in Swahili? Ata, kama. Eh? 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 I want someone to answer like a kikuyu. Eh? Eh? Uh -huh, okay. Now we are together. Eh? 
Okay, that was just a by the way. All the kikuyus are, are for the Lord. All the rules are for the Lord. Especially in this place. <laughs> okay. All kambas are for the Lord. Okay, now, you see now again, I'm saying those things eh, to somehow to make you happy. Eh? <laughs> to feel attached. Eh? But you see, you're a child of God. Eh? Before him, there is no Jew or Gentile. You see, eh? <laughs> rise above those uh, mentalities. Because eh? when you say, for, for us, Kikuyus, anything to do with Kikuyus will actually come and mess you up. Eh? Even on a, on, a, on, a, on a society kind of level. Eh? 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 For us, we are Kenyans. You see, eh? anything that hits them, hits you. You be there, eh? You see, eh? Okay. He said, even though I walk. Recently, I was actually visiting the town, eh? You know, he, he, he wasn't actually saying, he's in the He's in the He said, no, go ahead, go. He knew exactly what he carried on the inside. I've been telling you, these levels come with perceiving and conceiving. Let me tell you, until you conceive the power that you have over some back accounts and some notes around, eh? yeah? you run like a, you know, like a headless chicken. Eh? You have, you've actually had people say, we are looking for money. Ah, now you see, you see, you see the foreignness already eh? from inside of them. Eh? You are looking for what? Okay. Think about it. Eh? That thing called money is a mammon. Eh? There is a spirit over it. Eh? Yeah? You see that? Eh? Let me tease you a bit. Eh? When will that thing look for you? Now, that, now when it starts looking for you, eh? whether through phone calls, whatever, then you've actu you are actually, eh? you are actually, you know, getting closer to strangling it. Eh? You see? Given power over, over what? All authorities, above all authorities. Eh? Eh? If money is the place which is actually, you know, trying to impose its authority over you. Eh? So you get to know. We are looking for money. Remember when he said, you know these things are not, you know, not my words. Eh? He said, all these things shall be added. He didn't say, you shall run. No, for me, I'm what? You see, you see, me, by nature, we are always what? Yeah. When will you ever settle? Eh? And all these things actually come by settling. S all of them, they come settling on the inside of you. We can tell that this person can heal. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> but, uh, you know, for our sake, for some of people's sake. Eh? Hmm? Some of you, for some of these things to happen, eh? Eh? Hmm? Hmm? Give, me, give me Matthew. Let me show it to you. We shall come back to this. Eh? Mat Matthew 9. Eh? Start from verse 18. Eh? I'll show you. If you're in the spirit, you can actually you know, read it. Eh? So, while he was saying this, a ruler came and knelt before him and said, this was a politician, eh? but also a church leader, eh? a man of God, eh? so to say, my daughter has just died, but come and put your hands on her, and she will live. You see, eh? <laughs> you know, some of you can't even be called on. Eh? For, you, know, you know, sister, so and so, pray for me the headache, eh? <laughs> go down eh? okay. Jesus got up and went with him eh? hmm? and so did his disciples eh? go down quickly he says just then a woman who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years hmm? 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 
their account is empty eh? for 12 good years. Eh? Maybe you are earning 30k for 12 good years. Eh? Interpret those things like that. Eh? So that actually you can wake up Kidogo. Uh, came up behind him and touched him and touched the edge of his cloak. Hmm? Others are like, for me, if he can just look at me. If I can only be in contact with him like this. Some of you even wonder what point of contact is. Eh? For that lady, it was the clock. But you see, she wanted to go for, you know, for the real deal, for the whole of it. Eh? No wonder, when you read that uh, particular passage, eh? you see, eh? the man says, but who touched me? He knows how someone actually has got it. He knows. I can pray for you. And then I can tell that this one has gone away with emptiness. Eh? Especially when you start to say, continue praying for me. That one I know it. Eh? Yeah, let's keep. And others also have the gas because they don't understand these things. Let us pray for each other. Eh? <laughs> In the first place, why did you come to me? <laughs> you see, eh? it's like actually you going to work. Eh? And then, uh, you know, after they give you the salary, say, ah, let us share. Eh? You see, eh? no, you traded your time, your whatever, your energies with them. Eh? So now they are giving something to you in returns. Not so. So, she said to herself, if only, if I only touch his cloak, I will be okay. I'll have said goodbye to those things. Eh? <laughs> All things, eh? you see, go down. Eh? Because healing happens in many, many ways eh? and at different levels. Eh? So it says, Jesus turned and saw her, take heart, daughter, which can also mean son. Eh? So it's not segregative. Eh? You see? You see eh? And here is not meaning any colors. Eh? Some of you have got lost because you don't understand. Eh? I'm saying, yeah, he's it it not meaning any colors. Eh? Okay. He said, your faith has healed you. Yeah? And the woman was healed from that moment. Now, what I'm, you know, what I'm trying to put forward here is, is that there is a posturing. Eh? <laughs> there is a posturing. Eh? And the way it can actually happen, eh? Yeah? It, it comes with offense. It comes with that. <laughs> you see, most people don't know that Jesus is the rock of offense. If he wants you to some levels, eh, to actually climb to higher levels, eh, he's going to bring a guy or a woman. Eh, you'll actually, be pray, you, you'll actually think that this is actually your prayer point. Eh? Yeah? Yeah? Prayer point. Eh? Prophet, this lady at workplace, but actually, somehow, the Lord is actually using them to offend you. Eh? To provoke you into other greater levels. Eh? You understand? Eh? It can actually also happen in your, among your, 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 your relatives. Eh? Yeah? Okay. Even to, you know, even to levels of rela relationships. Eh? Mm. A guy actually out of nowhere cheats on you, eh? And that you'll get to know it. Eh? <laughs> at some point, let us remind you people, eh? some of you, eh? at some point a boyfriend has to go for a husband to come. How does, how does it happen? Provoke, offend, provoke, offend, provoke, offend. Even some of you actually go physical at some point. Eh? Come and show you. <laughs> Ah, fighting over what now? <laughs> well, some of you have. Eh? Hall hallelujah there. Eh? So. <laughs> Even two people here. Eh? So when Jesus entered the ruler's house, you know here we don't, uh, we don't expose. Eh? Mm. 
we are for love. Eh? And so the flute players at the noisy crowd. You see, he said, you see, eh? these are actually guys who were just there. Eh? See, he has just died. Hmm. Heard of what? Yeah, that family, I think they are cast. It's cast. You see, eh? it says, he said, go away. You see, eh? the girl is not dead, but asleep. Eh? But they laughed at him. Eh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> is, 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 is this guy crazy? Eh? So, no, no, take me back to the previous one. Eh? He says, go away. Why is he sending them away? Because at some point, the people that tag along with you, they are going to destroy you. Or they are going to destroy, they are going to actually to make that path of God zigzag. Eh? And I'm telling you the truth. Let me give you an example. Some of you never knew it. Eh? Never knew it. Eh? Remember, remember King Agag? Eh? King Agag? Eh? <laughs> yes. Yeah, in the book of Matthew, uh -huh. <laughs> King Agag, there was an instruction that came from the Lord. Yeah? Yeah? You know, Prophet Samuel, yeah? the Prophet Samuel, told, uh, you know, Saul, eh? the king. Yeah? Yeah? The instruction was kill. Okay, we're not telling you to go kill now. Eh? But okay, how would you kill? Eh? At some point, actually, you just walk away from them. Eh? Especially when their report is always negative. Eh? I'm telling you the truth. Eh? You've actually found those people. Eh? Money. Talk about money. It's, uh, you know what we're going through. <laughs> actually, that's why some people are not here. Eh? Money. You bring anything concerning money. Eh? Any money matter. Eh? Did you know what? Everything is what? Taxed. What does it? What? What? Okay. So you're going to die. Eh? We're going to stop living. Eh? And let me tell you, come and buy and buy. Eh? Whatever you know concerns you, in as far as God is concerned, eh? you come out of it. I'm telling you the truth. Eh? Even if they increase those things eh, ten times, I'm telling you the truth. Eh? That, that, that won't take you to the bank. Eh? Only that. Most of us actually are caught up in the worldly systems and we don't know. Actually, it's, those things actually swallow us up. Eh? At workplace, in families and marriages, they swallow us up. Can you imagine taxes affecting your marriage? You guys get it. Eh? Jesus lived in the day eh, of Herod. Eh? You remember the taxes. Eh? Eh? But this man actually you wouldn't actually tell him that man, eh? what, what, all those things. Eh? Oh, oh, Judas, Judas Iscariot has taken his girlfriend out. Okay, because some of you actually don't understand that language. Eh? Scripture says that he used to help himself with the treasury money. <laughs> he was the guy who, you know, that handled the what? The kabasket. Eh? So ever the guy was loaded. Eh? No wonder he wanted to increase his business, eh, to expand his business. Eh? While others were seeing an anointing that could heal and increase and all that, for him he saw a <laughs> He saw a whole biashara in Jesus. Eh? This one here. Eh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you've not got that joke, heaven is your hope. Eh? <laughs> But then in heaven also there is learning. Eh? Some of you say you I shall eat what? See our loved ones what? <laughs> I wish you I wish you get to get, you know, to, to, to have some glimpses. Eh? But you see, if you're still actually so inclined to taxes, eh, you can't see these things. Eh? <laughs> Rise above those things. Eh? <laughs> okay. So so this guy. This is, uh, you know, Saul. Eh? Because of the system that had actually entered him, eh? I remember I told you, King Agag. Eh? Eh? Hmm? If the instruction comes through dreams, through whatever, 
clear cut even as we said some of these things. Eh? Say, leave. As in, mm, mm. Man, this guy gives me, you know, give me, you know. You know, someone rebuked me and told me, Prophet, stop to, you know, talking about 10K, what? Okay, 10K dollars. Ha, now some people. Hmm? You think that's too much? If I have 50K, wow, all my problems, you are joking. It will come and ah, it is just, uh, exactly swallowed up. Eh? But let me say this as, as, it, as it comes. Eh? You see, at some point the Lord actually, you know, put us, uh, again, same question keeps on coming back. Eh? And I table it up. Eh? I'm like, how come they come and we declare certain things over their lives, but actually nothing changes. Eh? The Lord told me, because again, they have not yet learned to accommodate To accommodate eh, the strength. Okay, le, okay, let me say this. Eh? Hmm? I think I've ever shared it with someone. Eh? Let's say eh, all you know to travel to Uganda is by a bus. Hmm? Yeah? Okay. Okay, let's bring it here to Kisumu here. Eh? Yeah? There is an airport, right? Okay, Eldoret. Eh? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, let's now continue to Uganda. Eh? Or Tanzania. Say, that anything to do with air. To, uh, ah, now you start actually going by. Say, mm, mm, how much is it? 20k to Uganda. All that money. 20k Kenya shillings. Eh? Okay, 30k. Eh? Yeah? You see that? Eh? Such, such a body, such a mind, such a spirit, such a soul, such a heart can, has, has not yet accommodated to fly by air. So it comes knocking. Even when we provoke them and, and uh, you know, provoke and offend them. Eh? It's a, ah, ah, do you know how many Wunga, Wunga packs are in 20K? <laughs> huh? 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 So, 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 so for, you, for, for you just want to blow the money just like that? Blow the money just like that? <laughs> I'm speaking to people about money here. Eh? Of course, that's not my language most times. Eh? But I'm just provoking and what? Eh? Now, an opportunity comes. Eh? Even actually when someone is really paying for them, eh? I'm telling you, they will refuse. So, uh, uh, give me that money. <laughs> I'm telling you. I know the person, a true story. Eh? Yeah? You know? Dr. Jack is my witness. Eh? Yeah? A, a, a certain person actually, you know, he met, you know, he met them somewhere. And actually, he was actually, he was going to, you know, to buy lunch for, you know, for, those, for that person eh? and a certain person eh? yeah? whom they actually come with. Eh? Yeah? Somewhere. And then, so, because the man actually looked at the cat, don't see my the cat has not yet eaten and whatever. So, and actually this person said that, ah, you'd rather give me money. Now you see, in as far as food was concerned, eh, maybe the blessing was to pass through eating. Eh? You see now, they, you know, you see, such a person has not yet known how to conquer that thing, that mammon. Eh? And it's actually it's a spirit. Eh? It's a worldly system, Babylonian system, that has, was actually set in place eh, to control men, the psyche of men and all those things. Eh? I'm telling you, and if you don't, actually, if you don't know, it will actually control you. That actually, you are even greedy about, about, about you know, 200 bob. Eh? I'm telling you the truth. Eh? I see men lining up to go and get 200 bob. I'm like, mm -hmm. man. Children of God. Eh? Children of God. Eh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you see? Eh? So, 
what you don't suffocate, eh? when the Lord tells you to, it will suffocate you. It will actually suffocate you in future. So King Agag, eh? the Lord says to who? To, 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 to Saul, eh? kill. Kill. Don't spare. Even their king, Agag, and all that. Hmm? Hmm? So the guy actually spared eh? because I think, you know, they were friends or whatever. So I said, no, I don't want to kill my friend, whatever. You see, eh? as you are as you're trying to pity them and you can't see them how spiritual, how spiritually stronger they are or they can be to you in future. Let me tell you, you <laughs> later on, you remember now the giant called what? Goliath. Actually, when you follow all, all that lineage all through, eh? Eh? that giant sprang from King Agag. I mean, you know, you see, eh? from the King Agag. Eh? You see, what he didn't destroy, later on actually started now to give trouble. To who? Now, you know now, you, you see that, eh? The entire Israel, actually, was under bondage. One man, when he coughed like this and sneezed, the entire Israel, caught, you know, caught a cold, eh? Okay, catch it. <laughs> you see, eh? You understand, eh? So there is a place where you have to learn certain things, these ones. And actually, you start now putting off certain things. Remember where scripture says that, shake off the dust. Some people are dust. I'm telling you. Now, when that is actually happening, there is a lot of streamlining, streamlining and offending. Highly offensive. Eh? I'm telling you. You wonder why the Lord used to travel with, 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 with just three guys? You see, eh? Because most of them were actually, we are filled of what? Unbelief. No wonder when we go to raise Jairus' daughter, I think that this is the guy, eh? Yeah? In Matthew, eh? That place, eh? You know what the Lord said? You know what he says? Let the rest come out, eh? you, you know? Because they were just there. Noisy, yeah! You see, eh? Let us see. If he's not shaka, hold on, hold on. You see, eh? All that noise, eh? Which you need actually to suffocate, eh? You understand, eh? So here, now the Lord, here we see it actually, he did it practically. Go away. But now here you have to construct it yourself, orchestrate it. You, you have to look deep. Eh? Also some of you, because you actually you can't look deep, you've actually even chased away people who are potential, eh? Potential people in your life, eh? You've actually, you've distanced yourself from those people, eh? But I, I'm telling you the truth, eh? I remember a certain person, I've shared this with some people. A certain person, person actually told me, Prophet, now as we are growing, but I realize actually this person hasn't yet grown, eh? To accommodate certain things, eh? Well, I'd, not, I'd actually seen certain things way before. So, say, let us be careful of that person, let us be careful of that person, let us be careful. Mm, but for me, man, eh? I'm not like that. Eh? <laughs> In that Greek land, eh, there's, a, there's a certain language, eh? Greek again. Eh? They say that uh, before you kill a what? A fox, eh? make sure that actually it is releasing what? Saliva and all that. Eh? Now there you are somewhere. You are somewhere to killing it. Eh? But if it's still looking at you like this man, eh? at some point you have to run for your life. Eh? <laughs> but did you, did you understand that of King Agag? Eh? I'm telling you. That great giant. Gi any giant. Eh? So we are saying that here, until you actually know the tricks on how to suffocate that giant, Called the poverty, called the lack, called all those things, whatever. I'm telling you. Yeah? Okay. Let's say. Can you live for two days without money? And you are not making any alarm. Eh? 
or you are not making phone calls. Eh? <laughs> Can you survive without money? There. There. That mammon thing is above you. And it will sit on you, to, uh, it will actually trample on you, eh? In as far as it's concerned. Because actually that's the language it, it knows, eh? You understand, eh? Now just imagine that, eh? Yeah? So he says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, even though, and I've told you, I've, I've, I've seen actually eh, that, that, that person in the spirit, eh? The tone was the most confident one, eh? You couldn't, such a person, eh? such a person you can't actually intimidate. Eh? Yeah? Yeah? Do you know there's another life? Eh? <laughs> Acts, Acts 5. Eh? Give me from verse 12. Eh? <laughs> Let me show you something here. Eh? Yeah? Like a room is getting hotter. Eh? Oh, people are scared just. Eh? <laughs> you know the prophetic? Yeah. Eh? Eh? The prophetic catches on anything. Eh? Hmm? Eh? At the point of contact. Soul, body, emotions, and all those things. I'm telling you. Eh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'll come back to the other one. Eh? The apostles performed many miracles. Eh? Uh, signs and wonders. Eh? Among the people and all the believers eh, used to meet together. Eh? Who is Solomon? Eh? Solomon's colonnade. Eh? Okay, go down. Eh? No one else dared join them, eh? Eh? even though they were highly regarded by the people. Go down. Nevertheless, more and more men and women believed in the Lord eh? hmm? and were added to their number. Go down. As a result, people brought the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and mats so that at least Peter's shadow eh, might fall on, on some of them as he passed by. Eh? Go down. Crowds gathered. Hmm? Eh, crowds gathered also from the towns and eh, towns around Jerusalem, bringing their sick and those tormented by evil spirits. Eh? You know, you can be tormented by, by an evil spirit and you don't know it. Eh? Hmm? Okay. Story for another day. And all of them were healed. Eh? How many? Then the high priest and all his associates who were, who were what? Who were members of the party of the what? Sad guys. Eh? But I'm not joking. Eh? These were sad guys. Eh? We are filled with jealous. Ah, Kiwaru. All over the place. Eh? So, they arrested. Now follow through here. Eh? They arrested apostles and put them in the public jail. Public jail to me also. Eh? Eh? You know some of you in your way of dealing with the Lord. Eh? You are so much. You are so, you're so careful. Eh? You don't want to offend yourself. Uh, you think the love of God doesn't offend. Eh? So, yeah. Yeah. Help us out your brother. <laughs> Why are you talking like that? <laughs> but during the night, eh? uh, here you are now. Eh? Eh? During the what? An angel eh, of the Lord opened the doors. You see, the, they've actually arrested them and then put them uh, in, in the pub. Can you imagine? Eh? Yeah? <laughs> Some of you need to visit these places in the spirit. Eh? An angel of the Lord opened the doors of the jail and brought them out. People, because I, I can sense what most of you are, whatever. Eh? You are following a movie. Eh? Capture these things by the Spirit. Eh? As we speak now, you are actually thinking by your, by your bed. 
by your heart, eh? how do I actually escape this? Whether at night or day. You understand this language, eh? Don't just read, read, read these things and then leave them there, eh? But see where your life is headed, eh? It says, eh? go stand in the temple courts, he said, and tell the people the full message of this new life. Go stand where? Actually, he's not actually talking about, uh, you know, uh, just this, uh, what, you know, standing, you know, in the church. He's, he's actually not even talking preaching, preaching. He's actually saying, go and exhibit it. Go and exhibit it. Go and show, show it forth. Yeah? You're going to see the chaos, you know, you know it? <laughs> the chaos actually that thing caused it. Eh? Talk about prison break, eh? You can escape anything. You know, some people actually want you to pay the price. Eh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Eh? Do you know you can escape anything? Eh? And I don't care eh? whether you are the one that caused it or them. As long as it does not bring peace and joy around you. Now you see, as people are listening, they're saying, uh huh, shut the hole right here. He's telling people now to do bad things. There's mercy for everything. Eh? Mercy doesn't come through eh? after people have done bad things to you. Nope. It's an all round thing. That's why Jesus didn't die yeah, in, in kiasis eh, portions. Eh. We call it kiasis. Say yes. <laughs> so now for you, let me die for you up to the neck here. Because I've seen what is in the stomach. It's too much. <laughs> hmm? I don't even want to go down to your feet, right? Because, uh, ah, you see, eh? <laughs> beat bloodshed. I'm telling you the truth. Eh? You have to know the strength of the grace of God. There is no place the grace of God cannot bring you out from. Uh, this one, take it to the bank. I'm telling you, only that you haven't yet gotten so conscious deeply into that grace. Eh? Do you know the things can you know the things that actually can solve your life forever? Eh? Yeah? You know it. Eh? Yeah? Grace. <laughs> the love of God. You see, eh? at some point, actually, you have to test these things and say, Oh, I don't have money. Okay. I'm using that example. Let me see how his mercies can endure eh, with me for these two days. Before I make phone calls to borrow and lend and all that, you understand, eh? And then pu putting you in trouble with some people and all that, eh? He said, let, let, me, let me see how far it can go. Let me see. Let me see. Only that, only that, most of us actually have been taught. I, I, I was telling someone, eh? There's a culture we need to suffocate, eh? The, the, you know, the culture of waswasi, eh? Let me tell you that thing. It is the love of God, the grace of God that will actually calm you down. Let's say, wow. And actually, you know, he will actually make your lips, you know, develop laughter. And you do not actually wait. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You remember David? Say, even though. Now you couldn't actually scare such a man. Eh? You understand? Eh? Even though I walk, even though. Do you, do you remember still the same man who, who said, okay, let me offend some people here. Eh? He said, even if the Lord slays me, slays me. <laughs> Give it to us, eh, that scripture. Eh? <laughs> you see, eh? though he slay me, 
yet yet we lie hope in him now you see what can kill all these things when you know this hope is a spiritual thing eh? i hope you are well <laughs> hope yeah? is a spiritual thing it's a spiritual element i'm telling you no wonder when people lose it yeah? that hope eh? do you know that that hope is actually the anointing eh? you know what they call the holy spirit is the fullness of jesus eh? Actually, it's actually Jesus himself. Eh? And he said, oh, you want the fullness of me? Wait for a moment. When you see me ascend, I'll actually... Mm. Can you imagine such a glory? But of course, to so many people, Jesus is just oblivious. We go to attend on Sunday. Yeah. Oh, come here Friday. Wow. Mm. Mm. For me, I love my God. For me, I love my God. I, even I pray. That does not make you one with him. Or that also doesn't actually also bring his love unto you. Eh? Because I know people that actually they are out of touch in as far as that love is concerned. Eh? They can't experience it. Eh? I'm telling you. Like I was giving you that example. Start with the little, little things. Eh? Let's say 1K. And this need, let's say, is very, very pressing. Eh? It only needs how much? 1K. Okay. Okay, let, let, let us bring it down. Eh? Because I only want K. <laughs> okay, 200 bob. Eh? And you need it so, so, so urgently. So, so urgently. Maybe it has to solve a certain urgent thing. Eh? Yeah? But do you know what the grace of God can actually do? It is actually looking at you and it is actually seeing, eh? hitting two birds using one stone. Hmm? Let's say it is actually to buy medicine. Eh? There is a place of healing eh? in him. There's a place of healing in him. You see that way? Hmm? No, no, urgently. I need it so urgently, whatever. Now, but there's also where his mercies can endure, and then he can actually give you much more than even 200 bob. These things are for engaging. Don't rush. Again, please, people, don't rush in texts and callings and what. No, 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 call it. I said, please, please, please. Hmm. Sister. Sister, eh? okay, you can add, you can put a name there. Eh? Do you know what I'm going through? Ah, you understand, eh? Especially when it comes to, do you know what I'm going through there? It has actually got you up. Eh? It ha you are, it has actually engulfed you. Eh? You understand? Eh? Until you hear on the other, from the other end, saying, hmm, for you at least. For you, at least, at least. For you, do you know what I'm going through? <laughs> now you see, there's no help. Hmm? <laughs> Let me say it in parables here. Eh? To help someone. Eh? There's a vision I saw about someone. Eh? I'm like, hey God, this has never happened like this. Eh? So... I'm talking about now chariots and what? Horses. Eh? Yeah? So this person actually, maybe they had actually maybe wanted to use their car eh, for some particular things. Eh? Or, you see, you see, do you know why you can't actually trust in chariots? Eh? They break down. A horse can also die. And leaves you on the way. And, uh, I'm in the wilderness. See, listen, seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. <laughs> see, yeah. But there are, certain, there are certain things, you know, I've actually had a lot of these things around, uh, around here. Yeah. You see, yeah. in this nation, yeah. I'm, in the world, I'm in the wilderness. I'm seeking the Lord. Do you know you can seek the Lord in the hotel, yeah? I can give you an example. Hmm? Some people actually are my witnesses. Eh? Eh? Someday I went to some Greek land eh, to pray. It was end here as a culture that I developed. Eh? So, 
I go to a certain mountain because that mountain is near a certain university I went to. Eh? Eh? And for the longest, I'd never climbed up there to see. But people actually were like students eh? who were on, the, on fire for the Lord. A man near went and picked my football and what, 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 what. Enjoys the food. Yeah, what? I think you are moving on. Eh? Well, yeah, thank, you know, thank God they used to pray. Eh? Maybe covering the what? The what? The university and all that. Eh? I don't know. Eh? I don't know. You see some people, you know, you know you can actually set yourself out eh? like that. Eh? And actually you miss him. And I've told you these examples. Eh? You know people that actually kneel, kneel on the what? On the sharp stones. Eh? To entice the crying and the sadness. For God to see them. To look down on them. My daughter, I've cried too much. But Lord, why don't you have mercy on me? Those things do not move him. He says, delight in him. Delight in the Lord. Now that delighting needs a certain posture. All these things actually I'm telling you is, is, is the way to posture yourself. Eh? Because actually you can miss out on many things. Eh? Yeah? So I went. <laughs> True story, eh? Sheila is my witness. Eh? A certain neighbor of mine is my witness. Well, neighbor eh, from where we come. Eh? And you see some of you are quite slow. Eh? You, you, you. Neighbor. <laughs> well, you catch up. Eh? Don't worry. Eh? <laughs> so I go. I'm sick. So, but again, when I climbed up there, it was actually took me about three days or something, you know. Eh? Let me go to the mountain because actually, eh, you know, you, you know the hype of mountain. Eh? To go to the mountain to pray. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Some mountains don't have him. Listen to my story. That's actually when I realized that, eh, Kumbi, this is actually a dead place. Eh? All along, this was actually a dead place. So when I came, you know, when I went, I first saw the people that actually, you know, you know, that welcomed me, the people that were actually, you know, administering the place. Eh? Hmm? So, I, so, so they asked me, so how many days? Say three. I said I want a tent. Eh? Yeah? So they, they gave me a tent, but I realized that this tent maybe it rains and what? See, it's a mountain. Eh? You find yourself in Jerusalem. <laughs> yeah, Jerusalem, where it's, it all starts from. Eh? <laughs> yeah, I said, ah, yeah, I said ah. nevertheless, let me pay for the what? Uh, you see the fire? Yeah? I go with the fire to Praza. So I'm there. Then I saw that particular lady had the sun. Eh? And the sun, you know. That cowboy, as if you know the what? Eh? You know, people, when you, when you actually set out to pray, eh? look nice, man. Eh? It is there in the scriptures. These are not my words. You know, some of you have not actually really interacted with these things. Eh? You think you are actually hurting, you know, you have to show the Lord that I'm serious. I'm serious. You can still take a shower and I'm telling you, make up if you want. Embrace the Lord, man. Eh? <laughs> you are fasting, fasting like that. You know, some people are very, very legalistic when it comes to the Lord eh? and actually creating atmospheres of His presence and whatever. Very, very legalistic. Eh? And actually, a lot, of, a lot of children of God, eh? so, so, so legalistic, eh? they are not liberated at all. Eh? You see, eh? I looked at the kakid, I looked at the skin. What? Man, the skin has, has not actually seen oil. Eh? Mafuta, eh? For a very, very, very long time, I said, okay, now, okay, no problem. So, there, there was actually what they called a sanctuary. Hmm? You know, we don't want to say so many more stories and we miss it in between. Eh? <laughs> so, there was a sanctuary there. So, people have gathered what? So, they called it lunch hour. Hmm? So, they said, what lunch hour? What is the place? Said, okay, so, okay, no problem. So, there's a, a local drum there. Hmm? Singing some local songs there to entice God. What, what? 
So a, a certain guy had come with his car, parked it there. So he started praying. So I started praying in other tongues as I'm pacing around, what, what. Meanwhile, I'm still fearing to go to the, you know, because the place has the forest, what, what, all those things. But you can look, overlook like a certain town down there. So, okay. So, the guy started pacing, started pacing, started slowly, slowly. Okay. And then he started, you know, you know how they are fired up. Eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. But not actually in the Holy Ghost. Eh? I can tell. At least I have that privilege to tell. It's not judging, no. But I can actually judge certain spirits. I'm like, hey, this one here. Mm -hmm. Every child of God has this. Eh? Has that gift. Eh? It's called discernment. Everyone has it. You understand? Eh? It's actually up to. But of course, some people are just merely suspicious. Eh? I suspect. I suspect that relationship is not going to work. Yeah. You know, we had, we, had, we had a friend eh, who is not here until I said, eh, until the Lord told me, stop, cut, 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 cut yourself from that, from that person. Eh? So, and actually they have, they had power. Eh? What, uh, phew, uh, mm, relationships, ah. Uh, and then they go, did I tell you? Ah, they are no more. Say, eh. You see, eh? then I said, uh -uh. so the guy started saying, said, started saying, but God, why? Why my business? Why my businesses? Oh, the moment he said why, the Lord told me, no, that's not the thing. Some of you never got that. Eh? Hmm? Meaning you cannot start praying those prayers. Eh? God, what? It simply means that you do not know who you're dealing with. God, you're dealing with God. <laughs> okay. That was a, a sign. Let me tell you a true story. Someday that lady will actually come around eh, from that Greek land. Eh? Yeah? She, will actually, she will actually tell you the story. So, immediately I said, this is not the place for me. You understand? Eh? This is not where I can seek God from. You know some of you say, yeah, cry unto the Lord. Yeah, God says, I want, God says, I want, I want. Nope. Some tears are crocodile's tears. Eh? They are not genuine. Eh? You understand? Eh? There's actually a place where actually you are caught up in the spirit of joy. And actually, man, you begin actually to, you know, just to shed tears. Like, wow, Kumbe, this place was like this. Some of you actually will actually see heaven, eh? glimpses of heaven as you're like, why did I cry for the last two years? Eh? <laughs> okay, some of you are counting fingers. <laughs> so, the moment I said, ah, this is not my place, eh? Lord, I, I am packing up. I remember going back to the other, you know, to the tent sellers and what? I told them, I'm going. Hey! So what happened? I said, I'm going. I said, ah, didn't you like the place? What? what? But also, I took a car, a car stroll around there eh, to see. Let me tell you, there were groups that had actually gathered camping there, but actually I realized that whew, there was nothing. It was very, very empty. Then the Lord told me, you see where you had actually come to seek me? I am not there. But actually, all things show that to, to a normal person, eh? wow, people are seeking God, people are seeking God. I'm telling you, you can go to the mountain two years, nothing. I'll show it to you there. Mm. Second things, eh? I'll show it to you later on. Eh? Second things, one. Eh? You see? Eh? <laughs> so, the moment I said, ah, now I'm going, eh? there's a certain random lady. I know her. Say, how are you, prophet? How are you, man of God? I said, I'm, I'm okay. Actually, you told me that you're actually going to come to, 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 you know, you're going to come to pray. Where are you praying from? I said, eh? My desire was actually to pray in a hotel eh, at some point. Eh? But because now I had, I'd wanted to go and, you know, seek the Lord in the rain. <laughs> the lady actually sent me the exact money that I needed for the three days in that particular hotel. I'm telling you. 
Where are you going to put? Okay, okay. So how how much do they charge a night? Or, uh, I'm telling you. To be to be particular, this was actually 2018. Eh? This then. You know, I'm telling you, you can be legalistic with God. Eh? Yeah? Actually, the Lord just is just telling you. Just, just, just take a stroll. Eh? I, I, I want to show you something. Eh? And then probably like, no, 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 no. I'm going to get a shuka and bend and cry. Ah, 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 ah. I've met some people, I'm telling you, they are groaning. But actually, their groaning is out of the spirit. They are out of touch in as far as the spirit of God's communication is concerned about them. You, let me tell you something. Eh? Maybe that would also liberate you. Eh? There is not any child of God that sets themselves out to seek him eh? and is not talking to them. Can I repeat that? Hmm? Every time they gather and their hearts are actually a set, whether with the minimum kind of whatever, I'm telling you, he's actually, he begins to speak. That's why it's called fellowship with him, fellowship with the Holy Spirit. But are you for the fellowship? Or, because you see, you can actually present your case forever and ever and ever and ever. Eh? And actually you'll be like, no God, I've even, I've, I'm even serving. Lord, I even gave, I'm even serving in limitless. But God, why is all this thing actually happening to me? Now you see that. Eh? Hmm? You see, you are doing it like a gambler. Eh? I even do protocol. Not Yvonne. Because for her, she's always security conscious. You dare touch your man. Actually, she's doing protocol. They are doing protocol, not security. There's a difference. They are not bodyguarding. No, they are doing protocol. <laughs> Some of you need to understand these things. Eh? Prophet, you come to see. I'm going to see you. Please don't come with bodyguards. They are not bodyguards. Eh? You remember Peter cutting off some guys here? Protocol. Was Peter a bodyguard? Do you see the scripture telling, you know, you know, talking about him as a, as a bodyguard? Protocol, it's protocol. You know, some people actually, because they don't know these things, they're like, no, 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 no. God didn't say that we, if, you know, foolish talks, eh? Yeah? So, if God is our protector, why are they do they need a bodyguard? And then you see foolishly someone actually speaking those things. Eh? I'm telling you, they are doing protocol. I am telling you the truth. Protocol also happens in your, in your houses. Eh? Yeah? <laughs> they are trying to keep law and order. Eh? Because at some point you can't be sure of some guys. Eh? You can pull your mouth. What? He has what? <laughs> you guys think I'm joking. Eh? You remember the lady eh, who was bleeding? Eh? I'm telling you. For her, she's like, if I touch. But actually, when you read that scripture very well, eh, Peter told him, but there are so many people who are touching you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <You see it? laughs> eh? So this chariot, eh? I saw I saw it eh? with, with someone. Eh? Hope, hope actually they, they have ears to hear. Eh? Hmm? So I'm like, eh, now this thing has actually what? Eh? Yeah, oh, then someone had actually tipped me. That actually they had a journey somewhere. Say, so, oh. Then I'm like, so if they had the, the journey, whatever, they, they can they would actually be what? They would be tempted to use that particular chariot eh, and horse eh, to go. Then I saw certain things. Eh. I said, ah, let it stay like that. Eh. 
there is still grace eh, for them to move from one place to another. Eh? Do you remember a donkey that talked? Let me even come near somewhere. Do you remember a donkey that talked? Hmm? Now this time round, the donkey has died. You guys understand that? Eh? Which is can be a car, which can be whatever, motorbike, whatever. That day the donkey talked. But now today, people experience these things by conditions. A chariot has died. So you can't move. But actually, that donkey is speaking. Don't go there. Do you know what we rush into? Yeah? Yeah? A rebuke! Let me tell you, he says, test all spirits. <laughs> you have the guts to test all spirits. Eh? <laughs> I can tell you stories after stories. Some of them are very, very sensitive. We can't actually, you know, air them out. Eh? <laughs> I'll tell you. You realize actually at some point maybe a matatu dies somewhere. Eh? Yeah? Or a police guy actually stops them. Eh? Hmm? Okay, uh, so uh, the Mauricio, what, 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 and the guy actually doesn't have anything. Eh? So they waste a lot of time there. Eh? 30 minutes. But actually you have an appointment. Eh? Hmm? Let me tell you something. Eh? Let me give you an example. Eh? Uh, somewhere I was supposed to go to that bricklaying. Eh? Now some of you understand the bricklaying. Eh? I think it was still 2018. Eh? Someone actually paid for my ticket eh? because they had actually they, they had actually given me certain things to carry for them, eh? not to carry. Eh? They were light, eh? not very, no, not too much, whatever. Eh? So they said, okay. Oh, there's an opportunity for the for, for for air. No problem. Let me tell you, it was actually a jumbo jet. Eh? The car thing delayed for two hours. Say the car thing. See, when it delayed, I saw a lot of people complaining and all that. Eh? Hmm? But I said, mm, here God is actually, at, you know, is up to something here. Eh? Can I tell you something? Eh? I only had 10k for that brick line in my pocket. Hmm? 10k. Eh? But I have to go because I think it was to do with ministry, whatever, something like that. Eh? So, reaching the other side, eh? yeah, eventually actually we left. Eh? Now reaching the other side, I'm like, now how do I, how do I travel from here? Eh? Eh? Again, I didn't also want to bother the person that had actually given me the what? The air ticket. Eh? In their minds, I have all what it takes to come from the what? From the airport to wherever I'm going. Eh? You see, eh? true story, eh? So this lady, no, no, no. So we, we arrived and you know, yeah. so I'm, I'm, now, I'm now calculating, yeah? calculating, calculating. So, so I heard the Lord speaking very, very, very loudly. He said, now I want you to walk yeah? from here. Yeah? Okay, now I'll just say the place. Yeah? To Kitoro. There's a place called Kitoro where the, now the Matatus are. But you see it's late. Yeah? If you can actually measure that distance, it's far. Those of you that know the place, you know that actually is far. There is no way I could actually move. Eh? So now there is this fast taxi that passed me. Sure. Not a matter to but taxi guys. Eh? Those airport guys. Eh? Yeah? Hmm? So, and another one came. And then he is going, but now he reverses. Eh? Yeah? <laughs> Says, gentlemen, where are you going? I said, I'm going to town. Okay, Kampala, eh? But we all know that my 10K would not actually take me there. Eh? 10K Greek land money, eh? So, the guy said, man, so, so you are going to walk? I said, I said, I, I, I'm walking up to Kitoro. He said, no, he laughed, he laughed, laughed, because maybe I would reach there midnight, eh? At midnight, eh? <laughs> The place is fine. You see, eh? <laughs> so, the guy said, eh, that friend of mine that has, has actually just passed you, eh, 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 normally he does not leave people on the road. Eh? Eh? He, he has, because, because he likes money. 
said, hey. And me in particular, I don't carry people because I, I, I want to be sure who I'm carrying. Yeah? You see, I was also carrying my whatever, my few things here and there. You see? Yeah? So, the guy looked at me and said, you jump in. Yeah? He drove, 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 drove. So, he's asking me, so how much do you, are you giving me? In that day, it was, I think, uh, 100K Greek land money. Yeah? I think about 3K or 4K here. Yeah? So I'm like, eh. so now I don't want to embarrass myself here. <laughs> but I said, man, let me say what I have. Eh? Eh? Talk of testing grace. Eh? You see that? Eh? Eh? So I, I told him, I have 10K. Again, he laughed. Actually, he told me, is it your grandmother's car? <laughs> but I said, that, well, I'm inside. You cannot actually now, you know, inject me out. <laughs> of course, actually, I laughed at it. I said, ah, 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 ah. Eh? 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 And again, I wasn't just, you know, talk, talking fitly with mercy, what? No. Guess what? the guy was going to the exact place because halfway he received the phone call. Say, where are you? Where are you? Somehow, I didn't tell you. Somehow, those two remained there because normally they would actually get out of that best airport at about 8.30 or 9. But actually we arrived at 10. 10 something. But remember, you know, check, check, checking out what were those things, you know. Eh? So, it's 11 p.m. So the guy said, for some reason, I, I don't know why actually I kept, eh, you are so blessed, you guy. Eh? For some reason, the man, eh, we kept on, our, you know, we kept on conversing with my friend. What Now you see, there is grace working out things, only that you don't know. Only that a lot of people actually rush, you know, because they have actually a lot of what was in their heads. Eh? Please, you, you should stop that habit. Eh? It will put you in danger. Eh? Most times, eh? it will mess you up. Eh? So the guy actually was going to the same place where I was actually supposed to catch a bus eh, the following day to go to a, another place called Kasese where this particular person was that was actually going to minister to was saying. Eh? I'm telling you the truth. Eh? So the guy is, is so he actually makes a phone call. Where, where have you reached? He said, uh, give me just 20 minutes. I'll be there. So I'm like, eh. So for me, I'm like, whatever he put me in town. You see, eh? Actually, do you know the guy was actually going to the exact place? <laughs> then he said, ah, oh, now give me my 10K. You know that in a kind of, you know, say, ah, give me, let what? Eh? Then I gave him Mr. 10K. Eh? Greek land money. It's nothing, by the way. I'm telling you the truth. Eh? <laughs> Did actually one care out of it? Nothing. <laughs> I know it. Eh? That one I know it. Eh? What am I talking about? Posturing. You can miss out on a lot of things because you do not know how to posture yourself eh? about these things. Eh? Because also, because you might actually lack the language of the spirit. And then the posturing goes, goes missing, whatever, and all that. Eh? Let me show you something here. Eh? Second Kings, Second Kings, Second Kings. Second Kings 1. Eh? Give me from, uh, I think, uh, verse, uh, verse 6. Eh? Give me from verse 6. He says, A man came to meet us, they replied, and he said to us, Go back to the king who sent you and tell him. This is what the Lord says. Is it because there, you know, there is no God in Israel that you are sending men to consult Baalzebub? <laughs> Okay. Eh? Can I tell you what, I've, what, I'm, what I'm thinking? Eh? Not thinking what I'm seeing. Eh? Eh? Ah, no, no. It will mess up some people here. Let me not say it. Eh? No, it's quite sensitive. Eh? It, 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 it concerns the church. Eh? So, now it says, eh? the God of Ekron, eh? Therefore, you will not leave the bed you are lying on. 
you will certainly die. Eh? Okay, if I stop there. I hope someone of the chariot has actually really understood. Eh? <laughs> the Lord is simply telling you, don't go to wherever you want to go tomorrow. Eh? Cook up a story. Eh? If you want to be safe, say work, work related, that's coming. Eh? Please don't go eh? Even though it is actually so pressing, eh? don't go eh? Even here, hint. Eh? So the king asked them, eh? What kind of man was it who came to meet you and told you this? I said, they replied, eh? Eh? he was a man with a garment of hair eh? and with a leather belt. Eh? Your mind is leather. Eh? Man of God is yours in leather. Eh? That's leather. Haggai bought it from some guy, I know. Eh? This one is tight. No, I'm, I'm joking. Eh? So, yeah. so, okay. But, uh, you, know, you know, let me tell you. Eh? At some point, actually, you might think, actually, some, you know, something is going to last long. Eh? Eh? But actually, it is actually depriving you of entering some graces. Eh? <laughs> of course, it's good to buy original things. Eh? <laughs> You put it like that. So, he said, then they replied, he was a man, okay. Uh -huh. Then he said, that was Elijah the Tishbite. By the way, who is Eli El Elijah's mother? Okay, I don't know. But we know it. Then he sent, do you realize actually, scripture is actually, scripture, every scripture introduces him as Elijah, a Tishbite from Tishbe. End of story. Then the man starts the journey. Eh? <laughs> you know you can actually you can actually come like that. Eh? I say me, I'm like this. Ah, end of story. I've come to take you over. Eh? I've come actually to take over. Eh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Post charging. Yeah. So I say. Then he sent. To Elijah, a captain, with his company of 50. Now, this was actually Ahab's son. Eh? Eh? Trying to be the king. Eh? <laughs> eh, with, with his company of 50 men, the captain went up. So, so how many are those people? Uh -uh. How many are these? Okay. Then he sent to Elijah a captain with his company of 50 men. So those are 51 men. Eh? The captain went up to Elijah who was sitting on the top of a hill. Yeah? You see that? Eh? And said to him, eh, man of God, by the way, you weren't just sitting there. Eh? This actually means something deeper. Eh? Hmm? He's trying to tell you that I am the head and not the tail. You understand that language, eh? It simply means that. Eh? So the guy wasn't there just chilling. Because the guy was used to eating what, all those things, what, you know, eh? you see. Eh? So then he sent Elijah to a captain. Okay, we have actually read that. Still here. Who was sitting on the top of a hill eh? and said to him, Man of God, the king says, Come down. The king says. <laughs> you know when you look at these guys actually trying to posture themselves as kings, eh? you, you actually laugh eh? as presidents. Eh? Elijah answered the captain, if I am a man of God, now you see this? This wasn't just a statement, eh? but actually it was a statement in the spirit. Eh? May fire come down from heaven and consume you and your 50 men. Eh? Okay. I remember many, many things with this. Eh? You know, there are guys actually who, who can send a fire. Eh? Eh? Fire! But actually, it can't catch you. Eh? <laughs> it's actually not even fire. It's just lip service and what? Eh? 
for just to you know to do the thing spirit you know the, the, you know a form of godliness eh, which lacks the power of god eh? so may fire come down from heaven and consume you and your 50 men then a fire fell from heaven and consumed the captain and his men yeah now someone here would say but, but now, now why the, the king is just calling you the king you know some of you can actually so, hey, the president is calling me wow you see eh? but actually it's not actually the Lord that has actually told you to go eh? some of you now start to look at opportunities what opportunities what eh? but actually it's not even eh? see see the second lot at this the king sent Elijah another captain with his 50 men the captain said to him, those are how many now? 51 plus 61. You see, eh? the captain said to him, man of God. Hmm? They were even lenient here. They, they would have said, Elijah. Ronnie, calm down. <laughs> no, go back, go back, go back. Is it? Then, eh, eh, eh. the captain said to him, man of God, this is what the king says. Hmm? Come down at once. Eh? Ding. I said, come down. Hmm? You, know, you, know, you, know, you know how Nigerians, they tell you to come off the car. Come down. Hmm? Well, I don't know. So, if I'm a man of God, Elijah replied, eh, may fire come down from heaven and consume you and 15 men. Then the, the fire of God fell from heaven and consumed him and his 50 men. Hmm? See, but God is a killer. Hmm? See this one now. Eh? So the king sent a third captain with his 50 men. Was this king thinking? Maybe the Lord is talking to him, but actually he cannot see certain things. Eh? You see the posture in here. Eh? Hmm? So the king sent a third, a third captain with his 50 men. Eh? This third captain went up and did what? <laughs> went up and fell on his knees before Elijah. Hmm. Me, I don't kneel down before men, fellow men. You can choose to see a fellow man. Eh? Hmm? Let, me, let me show you something. Eh? Which food was Jesus eating? It was men's food. Eh? Men's food. Eh? Which he put on their clothes. Eh? But actually, his clothes looks like his. But actually, scripture says that. And his garment was seamless. Can you imagine that? Eh? That is scripture. Eh? You will actually put it there and, and see. Seamless. Can you imagine putting on? Eh? Eh? Okay, whatever he was putting on, a shirt, and it is seamless. You could see it actually. It, couldn't, it didn't actually have a certain start, whatever. It didn't actually have hoses like this. Eh? You know? Seamless to mean it was all clear. You couldn't actually. Now, who knit it? Who knit it? Knit it. You see that? Eh? <laughs> you see? Eh? So, the, you know, then say, so please have respect for my life and the lives of these 50 men, your servants. Your servants. Eh? <laughs> ah, ah, sure. How, how, how are they your servants? Have they ever served you there at your house? Okay. See, fire has fallen from heaven and consumed the first two captains and all their men. But now, have respect for my life. You see the posture in here? The angel of the Lord said to, to Elijah, ah, you see here, eh? go down with him and not be afraid of him. Eh? You see, eh? the man of God was actually, you know, not really this scared, scary, whatever. No, but actually, eh? he was really trying to guard himself. Eh? You understand? Eh? You see, eh? not every food that actually they give you, you eat. Eh? Some food is not for eating. Eh? You'll actually be intoxicated eh? at some point. Eh? 
This is, so Elijah got up and went down with, with him to the king. The rest is history. You remember what happened. Eh? You see that? Eh? <laughs> Tortured. Let me say this eh, as we are ending. Eh? Much as you need God, hmm? Hmm? you listening? Much as you need Him to work for you, to work out certain things for you, eh? in as far as they say miracles are concerned, eh? miracles are concerned, eh? hmm? anything, be it financial, be it health, be it what? marriage, relationships, and all that. Eh? You understand? Eh? Hmm? You need to, because you see, God sits in the miraculous. I've said this several. God isn't a miracle. Eh? <laughs> God isn't a miracle. Eh? You can as well say, God is a miracle working God. Eh? You understand? Eh? Eh? He does he doesn't struggle to work out a miracle for you, eh? Because he sits in the miraculous. Okay. I don't know whether you guys understand that language, eh? He does what? He sits in the miraculous. He's not a miracle. Eh? You can as well go on and say, God is a miracle, you know, we serve a miraculous God. There you are hitting a wrong note, eh? You see, eh? And as far as that singing is concerned, eh? he sits in the miraculous much as you want him to actually work out wonders and signs and miracles for you. Hmm? Hmm? Concerning anything eh, about you, eh? whether it is work, whether it is whatever, you need to adjust your posture. Please. At some point, we have sought him for what he can give to us eh? and we do not know him eh? so the posturing is different maybe there is a place where like God I want to know you hmm? more of you, more of you one of those good, great songs I love eh? where the words of man you see, more of you, more of you, more of you you understand eh? the posturing is super, super different. Eh? Hmm? <laughs> eh? Maybe, okay, let me bring it home. Eh? Eh? Concerning finances. Eh? 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 You can actually say, from today, I am not begging. But I'm going to actually eh? posture myself to be giving. To be a giver. Giving is a, is a revelation. Eh? And until it, it, it comes to you, or it comes to you as a revelation on the inside of you. Yeah? You always be in a panic. You see, eh? you always actually be trusting in that chariot which we, which we are calling the what? The account. Eh? Every time actually you look into your account, sharing views, whatever, I'm telling you. My my <laughs> my 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 also. Let me also say this. Eh? Hmm? You can seek God at any level eh? you want. Eh? A certain wise man said that uh, you can seek God at a freelance. <laughs> now, a legalistic man cannot actually, doesn't actually want to hear that. Eh? Because then, with their, with their church, there's a, there's a program. Eh? He, we are in the season of fasting. You, you, you whatever it, say, wow, God is ever, and I say, God has told me we have to continue. Legalistic. Is fasting bad? No. Until actually you, you also realize, eh, eh, I was listening to a certain man of God, eh, eh, fasting doesn't help God. Eh? <laughs> okay. Fasting would mean that God, I'm forsaking anything and everything eh, just to converse with you. It's more like actually, have you ever taken someone on a date? Eh? Eh? Let's move your phone. You are on a date, but 
But actually, this is the person actually you're talking to. Eh? The person actually is actually, but you are. Now, many people actually don't even know the full story. Maybe this babe is just looking out for one thing. For one thing. Your posture to her. Can you be attentive with her? Maybe she's actually looking out for that. Eh? And then you miss it. That, that's just an example. Yeah? You see, eh? you let God, I'm forsaking all these things eh? to seek your presence. And what is his presence? Eventually you see it because it is fullness of joy. Whatever comes out of that, you have to revise these things a lot. Eh? The first carrying, eh? even actually when you set out to fast and pray. Don't pray off. Eh? Don't fast off. Eh? You understand? Eh? Eh? Because actually at some point, actually you might actually end up just doing what we call a hunger strike. Eh? And then develop ulcers and whatever for nothing. Eh? And then you give us a, 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 a prayer point. Eh? Man of God, my stomach. The posturing was wrong. Eh? I'm telling you. You are typically saying, because you see, there are things actually that you actually you hear in the church. Eh? Because Jesus fasted for how many? 40 days. And then they go. At some point, yeah, what? You know you can also fast for 100 days. Eh? Do you know that? Eh? Do you know you can actually fast for that? For that eh? hmm? ah, now we have praying and fasting for 21 days. Do you know, do you know where they are getting it from? Daniel, the man of God. You see, eh? eh? But also a businessman. Eh? You know some of you don't know these things. Eh? <laughs> do you know Daniel used to chair eh? a meeting eh? of Wagangas? Eh? <laughs> it is there in the scriptures. Eh? The king used to send him to, to see Usually, tell you, usually, see what, what they are mind. <laughs> okay, I'm not telling you now to go and say it again because some of you, eh, just by them saying, Bro, you take off. <laughs> or they can actually mess you up. Eh? Before you know it, you are in voice somewhere. You see, now Daniel is set because you see, the posturing was good. And it was, you know, it was uptight. Hmm? You understand that? Eh? Whether he was actually singing songs of worship, whatever, blah, blah. You know, eh? songs of worship. Eh? Eh? We can also worship God through music. Eh? Eh? Praise and worship. Praise and worship session. <laughs> Never carry those things up. Eh? You see, eh? but then we do sing and all that eh? to actually entertain people's hearts, some of people's hearts, eh? to, to bring them together like this. You understand? Eh? <laughs> to draw. You understand? Eh? To draw them. Eh? So, do you remember? Did the answer come after, 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 after the 21 days? When did it come? You understand? Eh? The very first day. What does the scripture say? You give it to us eh, as we end. Eh? You see, eh? it says, on the first day when you sit, hmm? what is it? It's in the book of Daniel, I think, I guess. Eh? On the first day, you set your mind to be. Have you got it? I said, then he continued, do not be afraid since the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding. Eh? You see that? Eh? To humble yourself before your God. Eh? Your words were heard and I have come in response to them. You see that? Posturing. People again, I'm asking you, how, how have you been posturing yourself? Eh? <laughs> we started by saying that at some point, you can rest to your feet. Eh? We, st we started by saying that at some point you, you need to deal with even what is even around you. Eh? That can actually, eh? that can be, it can actually help you eh, a lot. Eh? Hmm? What is around you, who is actually around you? I'm telling you. 
at some point actually you have to look deep into a certain fakeness at some point actually you've actually kept a lot of fakeness around you and you don't know you understand eh? you are afraid you have whatever all these things actually but actually you can't see these things eh? and how do you posture yourself eh? you need to you know you need to start discerning eh? you see that eh? also there are certain things that require hmm? Hmm? you see you see with daniel eh? what happens there is that certain things actually hindered that particular angel because they are levels you cannot just actually remain at a certain level uh, uh, let me you know see i am praying i'm also a christian i pray on sunday i what i read my bible for myself to understand it and then you set that level eh? it's the wrong posturing eh? do you know okay we can actually end it with this eh? it says that but the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me 21 days. <laughs> now again, some people actually start to pray. Maybe they are, they've actually, you know, they've actually heard the Lord speaking that actually pray for 21 days. Eh? Yeah? Not actually the legalistic way, how the church has actually put it. Eh? Yeah? 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 Now, on the 15th day there, eh? They start what? Withering. Eh? You see that? Eh? At some point, actually, you need to complete it. Eh? You can actually get a job. Eh? Just like actually some of you are going to get these jobs. Eh? But the story doesn't end there. Eh? Eh? There is still more. With God eh? and about God. Eh? Let no man actually tell you that actually, eh? no, 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 this is enough for you and all that. Eh? And then you stop there. Eh? You understand eh? You go for more, you go for more, you go for more. Don't wither, wither on the 20, you know, I mean, even actually on, even on the 20th. Eh? You know, some of you actually just, ah, ah, ah. So what happened? You see, eh? this prince here we are talking about, talking about levels, eh? at some point actually you increase a certain gear. Eh? Hmm? You understand? Eh? You get it? Eh? Okay, this one actually will be for another day. But you see, there was a certain prince that had actually covered the whole of the Persian land. Eh? For some reason, that prince, yeah, actually could be actually a prince of Waswasi. Eh? Actually, that's why you see people all over the place, they in a hurry to get things. They do not actually give them time. Eh? You know how, you know, you know, you know, to be incubated, to be, you know, to grow somehow. Eh? We are into us to us of getting this. Oh, prophet, pray for me, I need a job, whatever. But actually, at some point, I was telling someone, eh? Eh? at some point, actually, some of you cannot be interested with a certain amount of money. Eh? You know why? Let's say you, you actually have a million. Eh? You're going to budget uh, for four months. I mean, I mean, for four weeks. Eh? Eh? Four weeks, what? Going for holiday. You even hire a car because now you have money. Eh? You feel you. But actually, at some point, actually, the Lord has not even told you to hire a car. Eh? Eh? Only to actually, just saying, eh? God forbid, eh? on each one of us here. Eh? Eh? Start over speeding because you're excited. What, what, what? And then we find you somewhere in void, eh? crying for help. Eh? You understand that? Eh? You need to discern these things. Eh? Because you can actually start at a, a, a very, very terrific speed. So the Lord now says, yeah, this one, if we gave them one million like this, one M, because their posture eh, hasn't, hasn't yet grown to accommodate one M yet. I don't know what I'm speaking, you know, to some people here. Eh? If we've actually given you 20K, small, small st stuff, eh? ah, what, 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 eh? those things, eh? Eh? and actually, the Lord says, eh, if, if this one actually has one M, eh? much as they actually want this eight, one M, eh? Eh? we might actually lose them after two days. Lose them both physical and what <laughs> spiritually, because eh? I, I don't tell me those things of God. Eh? <laughs> 
want a boyfriend. But actually, that boyfriend will actually lure you into some other path. Eh? You understand that? Eh? And actually, before you know it, you are, you are, that this person actually is speaking another language. Not actually on the, they are no longer on the path of God. Eh? You understand? Eh? But of course, most of you need these, these millions. Eh? But now, all I'm saying is that, can, are you able to accommodate? Is your heart ready to accommodate certain things? Actually, the Lord told me that, that stuff, eh? that the reason as to why this is actually happening like this, whatever, because actually, they, you know, they have not yet developed they are posturing eh, to accommodate some of these things. Eh? Hmm? You understand? Eh? The Lord actually wants to enter us through this one, two, three, but actually, we see that actually you are such an emotional person. Eh? Anything small can actually put you off. Eh? You see that? Eh? So there, we cannot actually enter us through a certain position eh? Eh? regarding work. Eh? Okay, I'm seeing some people here with real estate. Eh? You are into, you know, conversation with someone and then you have a bust out. Bah! That's why he says that if you are not faithful in the little, yeah, will you be able to accommodate this? Also somewhere he says, he says that if you, if the battle, I mean if the race on foot has defeated you, eh, you are defeated, eh? Will you be able to actually accommodate the horse race? It is there. There are levels, people. People, do. you need to wake up on, in, on these things. Eh? You understand? Eh? It all takes your posture. I've come for you to teach you these things, to impart them in you, so that actually you are able to go. Now remember, Peter, the Spirit of God actually tells him that angel, Go and tell them about this life. Meaning there's another life. It, all it takes is your posturing. I'm telling you the truth. Posturing. You've actually tried the A, B, C, whatever, those things, actually what? you actually sing actually a dark world all around you, whatever. No. At some point, actually, once you lift your eyes a bit like this, eh, now you will actually now learn how to posture, reposture yourself. A bit to add just a little bit. I'm telling you, your language changes all of a sudden. Eh? And some of you are overdue eh? for promotions, for whatever, but now the posturing has been lacking. Eh? You want to earn, let's say, let's say 80k, just saying, eh? hmm? or let's say 200k for starters. Eh? Hmm? Hmm? And whatever you do, you're trying to please whatever. No, no, don't be. You don't be a, a, a pleasing person, eh? eh? Because you know you can't actually please those people, eh? But now, you look at, you know, some of these things are so simple. You like who is promoting me here? It is God, right? God elevates, eh? But also He will give you the wisdom, eh, on how to posture yourself around that person. He will actually use to promote you. You are insulting the boss. Ah, you're showing them attitudes, wrong attitudes. What? Now, you see the posturing is wrong. Eh? You understand? Eh? Ah, ah, from me where I grew up from, you, you can't tell me those things. What? The posturing is wrong. Lastly, maybe you want to increase financially. Financially. I gave you a trick. Eh? Spiritual trick. Eh? You're like, ah, now, you see, at some point, Maybe you've been actually the person that called to beg, to ask for money. You understand? Eh? Eh? The crying person, whatever. Eh? Lend me. Eh? Actually, the thing is not borrow me. Eh? It is lend me. Eh? So you, you borrow money. You understand? Eh? And like now I am going to... You see, as you're setting out, you, you remember Daniel? Eh? It, it can actually seem as though it is so hard to sustain it. Eh? Go for the poly. You'll actually catch it. Yeah? The way to catch it, actually, story by story, you, you'll actually find a grip. Boop, like this. Somehow. And you will know. Now that rope will actually begin pulling you to 
its side or to greater, greater levels. Eh? Don't start, oh, whatever. Maybe you want to construct money. Let's say 200K. Maybe that's too much. Maybe that is not your faith. You see, eh? hmm? then you say, mm, I want now to start attracting. I've been the, 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 the begging one and whatever. Now the Spirit of God can tell you now, start giving. You know where I'm getting it from. Some of you are lost in this. Eh? Eh? You know, he says, you know, this is the principle. Eh? Spiritual, you know, principle. Eh? When you give, you receive. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. And depending on what you are giving as, as well. Eh? So you can't actually now st stick to. No, no, for me, for me, you know, there is actually a person who used to attend here. Eh? They say that for me, actually, I put it in my head that actually every Friday, I, at least I need to have 1,000 to give. Now you see, legalistic. You see that? Eh? You, you understand that? Eh? If I gave you 1,000 today, eh? what are you going to use it for? If, before, before actually you reach home, eh? Kisha, it's not there. Yeah? Dimension. Not there. Start constructing those things little by little. Don't rush yourself. Eh? Please don't rush yourself. Eh? Do not rush yourself. Eh? Start with those little things. Uh, and then, you see, let's say it is actually eh, because eh, some people actually left it. Eh? You that actually desires to prophesy, eh? to do what? To prophesy. Eh? Hmm? Yeah? Don't start with. I'm seeing the next president of America. <laughs> you can't even tell whether it is, it's going to rain tomorrow or not. Eh? You can't even stop it. Eh? No, 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 no. Don't rush yourself. Eh? Start. Don't go again. And it, actually, it is. You remember? It says that okay, that it is the small foxes that spoil the vineyard. Eh? And until you actually grasp those small, small bits and put them together for your puzzle to be complete, you are lying to yourself. Eh? I'm telling you. Tease yourself with the, with, you know, you know, simple, simple, you know, stuff, eh? things. Eh? For example, I want to know how my day tomorrow will actually flow. Now I've set out, of course, the first things that will actually come to your mind eh? before, before now they, they shift into now your belly, eh? the river of, of, of living water, will actually be the routine because it's in the mind already. Eh? The mind has actually stored it. Eh? I wake up at 4 a.m. It's actually whatever. I prepare my children, whatever. Blah, blah. Maybe you can actually now tease yourself and say, imagine I wake up and actually my child tells me this statement. It is not there already, but actually you are trying to create some of these things around. Eh? You understand? Tease, tease yourself around with small, small, small bits. Eh? Hmm? Now you will actually see it growing, growing, growing. I'm telling you, even praying in the Holy Ghost, eh? Tease yourself with little, you know, at some point actually don't be distracted. Eh? Let's say, how can I pray for about 10 minutes without being distracted? But actually I want to see certain things in the spirit. Eh? Before you know it, actually you start now to see bigger, wider things. Now there you can actually be interested with seeing in America, what is actually going to happen in America. Eh? If I told you these things, eh? national, you know, nationally, internationally and all those things, these things actually didn't just start like that. Eh? You see, eh? You rise, you, you know, allow yourself the rising. Eh? You understand? Eh? Allow yourself.